Today we are cooking, baby. I have been in such a cooking mood, and I also just got my HelloFresh box, so we're gonna whip up one of the recipes in the box. I haven't really looked at it yet, so we'll look at that together. But before I start cooking, I wanted to give some updates as far as my channel goes. Um, if you saw my, would it be my last video? I don't know when this is going up, but if you've been watching my recent videos, I'm now doing a like normal cooking video or like kind of like main channel, one subject vibe video on Thursdays and then Sundays I'm releasing a weekly vlog where I vlog a little bit from each day and it seems like you guys are really enjoying it too so thank you so much for all your support okay so looking at the recipe cards I think I'm I already chose the one I want this looks so good I literally woke up this morning thinking like ooh, I want to make kind of like a stir fry vibe for lunch today and this is absolutely it it's a zucchini and mushroom bibimbap bowl Bowls, plural. It says it's gonna take doo -doo -doo, 10 minute prep, 35 minute cooking. That's really not bad at all. So, to those of you who don't know, HelloFresh is an online meal service that delivers mo moose? Delivers meals straight to your doorstep. The reason I use HelloFresh is because sometimes I don't wanna be creative and I don't wanna think about what I'm cooking and they just put your full meal in this bag, all the ingredients, give you one of the cards, tell you how to make it. No thinking goes into it, but an amazing meal comes out of it. Everything in the bag is recyclable or it's already made of recyclable materials, which is amazing because when you look at it, it is kind of a lot of little pieces of paper and plastic and all that, but they're all recyclable. So as long as you recycle them, they're recyclable. I feel like that's a really big mix misconception in a way. People are like, oh, it's recyclable. Like I could just throw it away. It's like, no, you have to throw it away correctly for it to be recycled. Just saying. So each week you get to pick the recipes that you want in your box. There are so many recipes. There are all these amazing chef curated recipes. I've been using HelloFresh for damn near like two years and I've never gotten bored of it. And the only repeats I've had are because I wanted them because they're so fire. If you guys want to check it out, I'll link everything down below. And use my code KMACT80 to get $80 off and free shipping on your first box with purchase. Just go to HelloFresh.com for details. Okay, let's cook. I'm starving. Scallions. Cute little sriracha. Carrot. Zucchini. Mushroom. Soy sauce. Aww. Little white wine vinegar. Jasmine rice. Sesame oil. Ginger. And then I always keep the bag and just use it as like the trash bag. And then I throw it out immediately because I don't like it when food stays in the trash for more than like an hour. Because in your house just smells and it's gross. You know what I mean? Let me wash everything real quick. Okay, so I washed everything and I also prepped it. I had to shave the carrots and then thinly slice these guys. Separate the green onion to the white onion and then mince some ginger. Now I need to make the rice. And it says I'm gonna be making the rice with the ginger and that sounds fire. Okay, so while the rice is cooking, it, I need to pickle the scallion whites and make sauce. In a small bowl, combine the scallion whites, the vinegar, stinky a pinch of salt, that was kind of generous, and set aside to pickle. And then in another small bowl, I'm making the sauce with sesame oil, soy sauce, and a tablespoon of sugar and sriracha. And mix. <sighs> the smell of sesame oil, I don't know if this is gross, but like I genuinely feel like I could have it as a candle. Okay, so sauce is made, those are pickling. Now I need to saute all these veggies. Okay, rice is done, veggies are done, those are pickled, sauces have been sitting, I'm done. Now I just assemble it. <gasps> Trying to brush rice is so hard. It just rolls. Off the bat, this ginger rice. I've never made rice like that, like kind of infusing it with fresh ginger. I'm absolutely gonna do this like every time. I haven't even tried it and I just know it's gonna be so fire. Mm. Oh my God. More green onions, please. I thought like the pickled um, white onions would be a little overpowering. Stinky. But they add like the perfect amount of like acidity and tang to the nuttiness of the sesame oil. Oh my God. I think I put a little too much sriracha at the end. 
<sighs> but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. This is super easy. If you guys want to check it out, again, I'll leave all the details down below. <sighs> Usually Sriracha doesn't do this to me. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to get some more work done. I actually am working on something very cool that's going to be announced very soon like very soon something i have wanted to do for so long it's finally happening i'm just really excited about it i think it's something that's gonna fulfill me so much and help out a lot of people and oh, i'm so excited so you guys will be hearing about that soon make sure to keep up with me on all my socials i'll link them down below as well that's where i'll probably be announcing what it is first like i said i will be posting thursdays and sundays so make sure you guys subscribe turn on my notifications and i'll see you next time bye